The guiding philosophy of Rockland Promoters is that all businesses are created to fulfill the needs of society by identifying the need gaps and fulfilling these needs with the right mix of quality and price. This is what accounts for the success of so many products and services. Unfortunately, in the case of healthcare, which deals with questions of life and death, the gap between the needs of society and service providers is rather large. Right from inception, the Rockland team had understood that to build a sustainable model of healthcare delivery in a disorganized sector, fundamental research was needed to find the need gaps. Rockland conducted a survey with a sample size of 3,000 doctors across the Delhi NCR, followed by studies by Publicis Advertising and the Times of India Newspapers Group among the patients. The findings indicated a large disconnect between the patients and the service providers. Delhi NCR is the centre of healthcare for patients from the entire North and North East India as well as medical travellers from lesser developed countries, so the study represents a very large population's requirement. The International Airport at Delhi attracts medical travellers from Africa, CIS, Middle East and Sark countries, which has consistently increased the load of medical care in Delhi NCR. The answer clearly lay in building a healthcare network that could connect patients, clinics, diagnostic centers, small hospitals and tertiary care hospitals in a seamless manner through an IT interface. Creation of such a network required the coming together of all the stakeholders with a robust and replicable business model. Managing diverse business interests of the network partners needed tried and tested competencies in terms of creation of economies of scale, quality, costs, technology and diversity management. Rockland's 10 years in healthcare has been focused on finding solutions to these questions and creation of capacities for the implementation of the network model of healthcare delivery. The promoter's prior experience of over 20 years in creating and managing a consumer products distribution network that covered a large market spread from Asia to the Middle East and Africa, coupled with over a decade's experience in healthcare, has provided valuable inputs in creating a similar network for healthcare. India is primarily a high volume, low cost market and hence it is critical to integrate all the service providers in an economically sustainable way. This is what had given the promoters huge business success in the prior business and this is what forms the core of the Rockland healthcare delivery model. Step by step, the Rockland team found implementable solutions for each of the key questions. The first step in the direction of bringing all the stakeholders together was initiated in 2005 by inviting all the industry stakeholders on a common platform through a seminar on managing quality, technology and management. The objective was to find solutions that would suit India's needs. During this seminar, Rockland was chosen as the pilot study centre for NABH, the National Accreditation Board for Hospitals, which now sets the quality standards for all the hospitals and healthcare providers in the country. In 2009, the India Today magazine, in a government-sponsored study among doctors, ranked Rockland among the top five hospitals in India. This was an affirmation of the efforts and the direction taken by Rockland. Finding IT solutions for linking up the entire value chain was the next step. Several collaborative attempts were made with well-known IT organizations, but the costs were a challenge earlier. Now with the availability of cloud-based technology, Rockland has successfully created IT solutions in collaboration with several IT companies. Rockland recognized a simple fact that doctors had little time to find out costs of treatment and therefore the variance in margins for the same procedures and treatment was huge. The Rockland team has developed cost packages for almost all the key procedures without compromising on quality and leaving room for patients to choose in case of implants and additional services. This has created transparency for patients as well as the payers. 
This will help the network partners in maintaining quality to cost ratios at all levels of services. Managing diversity was made an integral part of the Rockland culture to ensure comfort levels for the alignment of the network partners. The founders of Rockland Hospitals, Rajesh, Prabhat and Rishi Srivastav, share a common home and follow the age-old tradition of the Indian joint family values of sharing resources, respect for diverse opinions and working together for a common goal. Each member of the family understands that a joint family means more than one family living together with members of diverse strengths. The Rockland management culture is governed by the same value which recognizes diversity as a big strength. The capability to manage diversity and a willingness to accommodate diverse business interests has attracted several global level players to align with its network concept. A large number of clinics, small hospitals, medical equipment and medical service providers have begun to work with Rockland on the health network concept. Interestingly, IFC became an investment partner due to the strength of the network model when the group had just one hospital with 100 beds in 2008. The Hitachi Group has signed two MOUs for setting up a cancer center at Rockland Manisar and a similar cancer center with advanced training facilities at Rockland Noida. Rockland Hitachi ICT have formed a consortium of technology solutions data storage and analytics, which is the first of its kind in India. The group is in talks with leading groups like Philips and GE for alignment with the health network model. The most capital intensive part of building this network was the creation of tertiary care hospitals, which has been achieved to a significant level by building three tertiary care hospitals in the Delhi NCR. Land has already been acquired for building another 500-bed hospital at Noida. The group has recently entered the diagnostics and secondary care segments and has signed up with a number of clinics, nursing homes and small hospitals in India as well as in the lesser developed countries in Africa, the Middle East, CIS and the Sark region under its network partnership program. The Rockland Health Network has clear benefits for all the stakeholders in the network who get an automatic inflow of patients as the patients go through the complete treatment cycle. Patients are the biggest beneficiary of the network model. Wrong diagnosis or late diagnosis causes huge expenditure on treatment later and in many cases precious lives are lost. The network model connects the patients with the nearest clinic nursing home or small hospital with a specialist and super specialist doctors of Rockland to ensure early diagnosis of diseases. In cases of emergency, the patients are picked up by the Rockland emergency management team and taken through life-saving procedures within an hour's time. The network awareness teams ensure that the patient gets full information on preventive care, location of healthcare facilities, cost of treatment, insurance cover and various government and non-government schemes providing health cover. Rockland Data Storage and Analytics tie-up with Hitachi will ensure a quick retrieval of reports at any stage of treatment by the patient and the doctors. Doctors operating out of clinics, nursing homes, small hospitals and tertiary hospitals will be supported through technology, sales volumes, funding, costing efficiencies, quality, operational management, human resource development in medical as well as non-medical areas. For tertiary care, the patients can be referred to a tertiary care hospital of the patient's choice. The investment model for expansion is based on brownfield projects. While the first phase will cover the Delhi NCR, the model in the next phase will be replicated in over 400 districts of North and Northeast India. Payers will have transparency through standardized price packages designed to ensure cost controls. Biggest beneficiaries will be the insurance companies, government organizations and companies which have given medical cover to their employees. By ensuring that the patients are diagnosed correctly and only then referred to the primary, secondary or tertiary care facility, 
the costs will come down for the payers while the patients too will benefit in a significant way. International Expansion The network services have also been extended to cover the lesser developed countries of Africa, CIS, the Middle East and the Sark region. The situation in these countries is similar to what exists in the remote areas of India. Currently, the Rockland doctors are organizing regular OPDs in these countries with the partner hospitals. Minor surgeries are conducted there and for other surgeries the patients are being referred to Rockland Tertiary Care Hospitals in India. India's capabilities in IT, its low-cost advantages and a huge reservoir of human resources make it an ideal partner for using India as a base for exporting healthcare to the rest of the world, especially the lesser developed countries. The potential of the healthcare market, which is growing at an annual rate of 15%, is huge. But to tap into this market, a differentiated model is required. The projected market demand has been estimated at $148 billion in 2017 and $296 billion in 2022 in a recent study by PricewaterhouseCoopers. What is significant is that the healthcare market is driven by the medical service providers who account for a share of close to 69% of this spend. This was clear to the Rockland promoters and this was the prime reason why it first built the tertiary care facilities and then linked up with other partners to provide a complete healthcare solutions package.